chapter core books are only four right and what are those let's talk about it which is the first book that we recommend and why do we recommend who want to uh, what to say what to say so this is the first book right let me be putting on speaker mode so this is the first book right is it visible yeah it's visible now okay 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 i think spotlights are getting changed let me spotlight myself yeah yeah this is the book yeah what to say when you talk to yourself by shard holmes so now question is why why we recommend this book uh actually our life if we sit and uh, think just for 2 minutes even and flashback our life entire our life has been based upon the programming which we have been feeding to our brain right either positive or either negative in it right. so that is very important what we are talking to ourselves when we are sitting alone or when we are uh, thinking about our life right so, uh, right vidika let's keep it short because we don't have much time yeah. so basically uh, uh, programming right uh, this book is very important from our mental programming now question is Uh, we are in already is uh, you know doing so much of programming someone is into java someone into is into c sharp and so many other programming there right why i need one more programming right and that's where uh, if you as uh, vartika said i think more than those programming our mind programming is even more important since childhood most of the time we have heard that there was a survey which was done in this book and it said almost 57000 times right we see we hear no in our life 1 lakh 47000 something like that and if you just recall your uh, childhood also there were very few times when you heard yes you can do it yes you are meant for it mostly it was what the hell what are you trying this is not possible for you this is not for you you can't do it right most of the time we have heard that only either from your friends even from your parents who unintentionally uh, said this they were not aware of self talk and all these things so this is one book what to say when you talk to yourself which can bring that you know childhood innocence uh, innocence that bra- that courage that can bring back to us by which we will learn how to take a risk we will learn how to you know uh, do better self talk so uh, if somebody is talking to you they'll feel motivated have you seen some people uh, they are like uh, energy suckers if you go to them the moment you talk to them your all energy will be gone have you met some uh, such kind of people but on the other hand there are some people if you listen to them if you talk to them your energy automatically goes up right and you will see the reason is self talk they will only say the language of can they will not say the language of cannot right because we hu- human have that uh, unlimited potential right that's why this group is called unlimited potential inside right so somewhere uh, that is there only thing is we have to be in association of people who understand this right so that's where this book really help wherever you your faith belief you think there is a challenge with that then just read this book and uh, what is the score, what is the syllabus what is, how many chapters do we read out of this book first nine chapters only first nine chapters right so again it's a book big book uh, you will see vijay has given a clear we have read this book thousands of times vijay has run uh, at least read thousands of times i have at least read 10 20 times right we know which part of it is more than enough others are repetitive most of the books you will see hardly 20 30% is the core of the book remaining is somewhere adding some stories and those things to those 20% of things only right so first nine chapter is more than enough for you to understand what is self talk and start implementing those things in your life right so if you most of you i know have finished if you are not finished then this is your first book to finish right what to, to say, what shad hamster what to say when you talk to yourself let's uh, go to the second book which is the second book so this is the second thing can grow which i is green so on my green screen is not even visible yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's called it's called uh, think and grow rich right uh, by who is the author yeah yeah exactly ashish is showing and let me uh, spotlight him yeah this is the book thank you ashish thank you so much this think by napoleon hill yeah it's by napoleon hill and now tell me what exactly did we learn from this book so yeah desire and faith desire and faith Maybe. that's 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 kind of answer i'm looking for straight forward to the point <laughs> it also tells about the uh, mastermind alliance like uh, people uh, like minded people yeah. exactly so again there is a very limited set of syllabus in this book also right if you remember yeah. what are those uh, uh, chapters that we say the first one is desire desire, desire. faith auto suggestion auto suggestion faith is Organized. actually not there uh, devi it's only uh, five chapters uh, desire okay. auto suggestion and 
organized planning organized planning specialized knowledge specialized knowledge, specialized knowledge. and mastermind for mastermind. the mastermind mastermind exactly so if you see all these five are things are so important even though we are aware but if uh, you you will be surprised to hear from people around you desire chapter for example let's take this example right such it's such a pity thing that it's surprising we know that uh, when we plan for a travel for a vacation we always know where we are going right but we never plan for our life most of us are not even aware where we are heading to right so so basically there is no purpose to most of the people if you talk to them right of course in pm and book club most of us have started uh, going through that journey but otherwise people don't have any desire and desire somewhere in our culture is very conflicting somebody want to become rich that becomes a big conflict right why you want to become rich right the rich are the all villain in the movies are rich people only right you should remain poor and you be a hero of your movie right does nowadays anyway karan johar has changed that scene otherwise all the poor people used to be hero and all uh, you know rich people used to be villain right so uh, from that perspective uh, desire was very conflicting the moment you read this chapter desire you will get in formula whatever you want to achieve in your life it may be money it may be your uh, you want to open an hospital you want to do something great for your society for your parents for your kids everything you can put into a formula by desire chapter right similarly auto suggestion uh, adds to the self talk organized planning right specialized knowledge we get confused that technical knowledge can take me to whatever place i want again there is a barrier to it right how but uh, how how the, how how can we fix that right and then mastermind alliance anyway this is one mastermind alliance we are doing here right so mastermind alliance is nothing but association where we are working to move towards one common goal right what is the common goal goal we have personal growth right so somewhere so these five chapters are the only ones that is recommended right so uh, sometimes i see your speeches also don't uh, are out of this syllabus you can always uh, read uh, not that we say don't read the other chapters you can read it but we know that is somewhere is a kind of duplicate of something that you have already read so in book club we ask you to uh, you know cover these five chapters only from think and grow rich now let's let's move to the next book next book is this one magic of thinking book magic of thinking thinking big, big. Yeah. yes so uh, i think couple of uh, stories also we heard right couple of speeches today i think again here not all chapters are recommended but i think magic of thinking is book is such a nice book that you can actually read all the chapters but we recommend again five chapters only believe you can succeed and you will chapter 1 chapter 2 is cure yourself of excuse it is i think today someone covered right dheeraj covered probably na no i covered ashish ashish covered right yeah then build uh, chapter 3 build confidence and fear destroy manage your environment this is again your mastermind alliance how you will have uh, you know right association around you and then get the action habit right Because yeah the main goal of this book is the size of our success is determined by the size of our belief and our thinking so exactly amazing amazing so i think we covered how many books three books no three books yes. which is the fourth book for to rich dad rich dad poor dad so this is the book rich dad poor dad by robert kiyosaki now i think uh, um, uh, again i forgot the name uh, someone covered it beautifully when he started saying that uh, most of us are not even lit- we know so many things i think uh, dheeraj was speaking on this right dheeraj and devi priya dheeraj and devi priya right but we don't know the basic financial literacy also right for example uh, uh, anki talked about uh, assets right we generally our incomes are always based on Uh, in hindi it's called dihadi right <laughs> it's is like uh, labor income right if i am doing this much work i'll get this much money right but i am not able to automate my income ever so this book is one where you can learn how to automate your income so that you can explore things other than your uh, that's where the one chapter is right if you remember the again there are limited chapters in this uh, the chapter 1 is around rich work rich don't work for money only five chapters are there chapter 2 is why teach uh, financial literacy chapter 3 is uh, managing your business history of taxes chapter 4 and chapter 6 work to earn don't work for money mm-hmm. right how many of you think that you don't work for money <laughs> is there anyone who don't work for money here no are you sure we we don't work for money are we are working for a company no Uh, actually sir job we are doing job and job acronyms is just over bro so just <laughs> there are there are many perspectives sir some people work for their manager some people <laughs> feel that we are working for the company organization but nobody works for i mean organization what i feel right right nobody thinks about working for organization so most right. of the people they 
skill about like working for a manager right there it can put the money on it right somewhere uh, uh, the moment you just uh, say there is a simple uh, test we can do somebody says no i don't work for money you tell them okay th- for 3 months you will not get salary <laughs> so, so, we, uh, so we work money is important part but money should cannot be an end right money can be a means to you know achieve something great but it cannot be the end amazing i think and one last book that uh, we don't cover in the four core books but most of us being from technical and uh, kind of domain we come from is about connection communication is more i think communication we think about words and language and english but i think communication is more about connection if you see vijay is not an amazing uh, english speaker right uh, you might be seeing some grammatical mistakes also when he says and he say, uh, says this himself that i am not a great speaker in english so actually that doesn't matter so you will find i think uh, that example uh, who was giving that author example who was a great uh, writer yeah, yeah. yeah best selling yeah. author right yes uh, yeah she was a great author but she said my book is not selling so kyose he says that it's not best seller author your book is best writing author you can read it but not sure others will read it or not right so somewhere yeah that, when i was yeah just i'm adding one point when i was a teacher at my college i mean i worked for some six months in a college i used to tell the students to give the courage like uh, english is just a language it's not a knowledge so after completing your degree you just remember that so i remember that point yeah. amazing there's a great point in our culture somewhere uh, across india people think english is a status symbol it's not a language but it's a language right uh, the the way you uh, hear bhojpuri and kannada so i think i'm getting bhojpuri and english at the same time <laughs> there is hardly any difference somebody is really excited looks like huh? <laughs> so even i wanted to say one point sir here uh, so i was reading one of the oxford uh, uh, dictionary uh, uh column so what some some of the author he mentioned is uh, there is a two phases of english one is the difficult sentence formation and the easy 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 english so if you think about uh, the difficult english most of the the insurers or uh, terms and conditions what we uh, go through right every day life so if you want to understand the terms and conditions it will be very tough english when you when you read when you read that right you will understand something when you go to the lawyer or somewhere so the other end side right they will say some other meaning right so yeah so in 1960 onwards in uk european union all these countries so the major government they started telling the governments and other uh, legal and uh, uh, lawyers and all make it easy to understand right right so everyone exactly. so it's not that okay uk is english country so everybody will understand english so they also can't i mean understand english that's true that's true, that's true. and so basically i think um, more than communication focus should be on connection right that's where this book help which is how to win friends and influence people right so uh, and again i think this we don't recommend any one part of it i think the whole book is good that's where uh, if you read only this book that itself is a big syllabus right so first focus on the four, four books until unless your coach says no no you need connection skill first right so there is a problem and he is looking for you to first uh, learn the connection skill and then finish it off uh, so it's not fixed way of uh, reading books your coach is going to help you out which book to read first which second which is the third right so some of the course that i mentioned or those people will help you to you know uh, pick right book at the right time so this is i wanted to cover uh, and uh, probably this made some uh, made some sense and uh, you guys can uh, start working if you have not finished this syllabus first f- finish this off i know you sometimes you want to refinish the think and grow rich complete you can do that but first finish, finish the basic one fundamental so that you are aligned with so many people who are already done that right once we, we are on the same thought process then you can start working because we all have limited time right is anyone having unlimited time uh, from tomorrow again uh, monday blues are going to start office is going to start right? no only has... unlimited potential not unlimited time exactly exactly we don't have unlimited we only have unlimited potential right so in that limited time finish your syllabus and then anyway we have at level 2 level 3 we have many more books but first we want to get to a basic thought process and then we can start working on those things